morning. This is my new car, or at least new to me. And I've got a really exciting vlog for you today. I've got a list of things we're gonna try and do, a challenge. We're gonna try and do everything by sunset. This is a video about gratitude and how important it is. Cold. First things first, let's get out of people's way. I just got it yesterday-ish. The fact that I have a new car probably doesn't seem like it applies to this P4A video, but it does actually matter for this P4A because the first thing on our list of things to try and do for P4A this year is volunteer with the Disabled Americans DAV organization to drive an injured or ill veteran to a medical appointment. My roof is still open. It's cold. Yesterday, I had to get a vehicle, so I got a vehicle. We still have to get it insured. We still have to get all that stuff done so that we can drive an injured or ill veteran to a medical appointment. I haven't actually called them about that, so we've got to make some phone calls. I think this is going to be a really fun Project for Awesome video. It's definitely the one I'm the most excited about that I've ever done. Got a list of 11 suggested things to do to show my appreciation for veterans and I'm gonna see how far down the list we can get the charity I chose is in the title that's the DAV disabled American veterans a company has given me these suggestions and my challenge is from sunrise to sunset today I'm gonna try to do as many of these suggestions as possible with this video the first obstacle of getting plates for this thing Last time they gave me an estimated time, it was an hour and 15 minutes, which was like 10, 15 minutes ago. First hurdle is bureaucracy. So while I wait and I have this beautiful background music, I'm gonna read you guys the challenge that I, challenges that I have. Okay, so we have volunteer at the DAV. I already mentioned that. Second one is send international phone cards to deployed soldiers. I don't know very many deployed soldiers, so that'll actually be the hardest part of that probably. Uh, get a family member who served your old man, gramps, uncle Jim on the phone. Ask them to tell you a story. That one sounds awesome, but I come from a family of pacifists, so I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble finding somebody from my family. Start a scholarship or donate to one like the Purple Heart Scholarship Fund or the Pat Tillman Foundation Scholarship. Uh, work with active members of the military to start an Amazon wish list to send overseas. We can do that hopefully. Hopefully after we figure out who to send the international phone cards to. Uh, make do, make the Amazon wish list. Research and volunteer with a local veterans organization. Awesome. Attend a veterans panel put on by, the v, by a VA. Okay. Offer your first class seat to a man or woman in uniform. Uh, I'm not gonna get to do that one this year. That's for sure. Crack a beer with a vet, we can do that. Donate your sports tickets to the Veterans of Foreign Affairs, VFW. I don't have any sports tickets, but maybe we can get something together there. Send care packages to active and deployed military. Sounds like a plan. So, yeah, some of those are gonna be really difficult. Some of them will be impossible, uh, and some of them pretty doable. Although, we are not doing good for time yet. We have already spent almost an hour of daylight basically just spinning our wheels. I just moved to a new place and all my stuff is done electronically, so I don't have any proof of address. I don't have any mail that I've received. Let me go check and see if I miraculously got some mail this morning. But I think, I think you can confirm this sort of thing through your bank. I'm gonna go check the mail and then check the bank. I'm driving around without any license plate crazy day still waiting on the phone for the post office Drive, talk on the phone and film at the same time so they did finally connect she said the best way to do it would be to manually just go to the post office office assists itself and we're gonna quick get this whole thing done they gave us two card that's what she said I needed turns out it takes a week but anyway so maybe we can't get insured today but we can call, see if we can volunteer anyway. That's what I'm thinking. Please stay on the line and your call will be transferred. No one is available to take your call at this time. Please try calling back at a later time. What? Well, let's go find some internet and see if see if we can message them, I guess, or something. We've got to volunteer by the end of the day. So, could I get a uh, small hot chocolate to stay and... I'm sorry, what? No, ma'am. And could I get a breakfast burrito? Yeah, Veggie? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I've never had one of their burritos before. Thank you. I 
just got an email from them, and it gives me three different ways to volunteer. There's helping at a facility, helping with a community program where you go to veterans wherever they are in need, and then there is like a transportation network, and it has like a number for each one to call. Pretty prompt with getting that email back to me too. That's good. Your call is extremely important to us, so please leave a brief message and your phone number, and we will return your call as soon as we can. This is the transportation line. Goal is to volunteer by the end of the day. I don't know, man. If not, we'll try and volunteer for Christmas. A phone number and a brief message, and someone from this office will return your call. Also, remember, all government holidays, this office will be closed, and there will be no transportation, and mm. various other days scattered throughout the year. Thank you very much, and have a great day. I guess I was wrong about Christmas. So when I was a kid, I was super hyper patriotic, but as I got older, I started to learn about like a lot of the corruption in my society and my government and like over time, like the news and like what's going on in the world and what's going on in our country and what's going on in our government. It just kind of ate away at that patriotism. Eventually I was just really apathetic about this nation, about all the opportunities I've had because I was, I, because I'm an American. Like there are so many opportunities that I don't even use to their full potential. But being grateful for that so much is something I think is really important. And I think it's a value that is kind of underappreciated in my culture, in life, by me at least. And so uh, lately I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about how I should be more grateful for the, this amazing country. I've always loved this country and what it stands for. But I haven't always appreciated the source of my freedom as much as I should. That's why I think supporting disabled American veterans is a really good candidate to win. So put in your vote, go to projectforawesome.com, vote for this video. If anybody deserves our gratitude, if anybody deserves our money, it's these people who made huge sacrifices for our freedom. That's why I chose uh, DAV and I hope you do too.